The girls and I had half thought about getting another dog ourselves because we were missing, missing them and I work from home. So we started looking at rescue places to adopt. We didn't really know what we were looking for. So I said to the girls, why don't we just foster for a while? And then Sienna popped up. When we saw her, she kept popping up online in various places that I, and I kept seeing her. And the photo they had of her online, she just looked really, really vulnerable. And then the story with her, obviously, that she'd come down and been this place, that place, and was due to have pups. And I just thought, oh, that's really quite sad, and that poor dog. And But then I thought, I can help this dog. Like, I've got the time, I've got the room, I've got the patience. So I didn't know anyone. I just commented on Facebook and said, I don't know how to become a foster parent. I don't know how to do any of this, but I'm willing to give it a go. So Nicole came out and met me and then went from there. Uh, Mum's a Kelpie cross Staffy, and Dad is the Mr Unknown. There were seven, yeah. Two of the black, which are quite Kelpie-like, and then Tempest, who's quite lab, and then the other, other four were quite like Mum. Sienna keeps stealing all their toys. She's got a big <laughs> mound of them in there. She's only a pup herself, really. She's only 18 months, two years. But they just bring so much joy. It's so much fun to do. I mean, I'm very fortunate I work from home. I've got a lot of time on my hands to be able to do that. Uh, but a lot of the volunteers I spoke to, they all work full time. They've got busy, busy lives, but they fit in around it. And they fit in around it happily. They just do it without even, without even thinking about it. They just go and do it. You know, it's like a little community. It was really good. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And I love the fact of all the, the checks that they do do for where they're going to go, just to make sure that they're going to a right place and a safe place and with people that are going to take the time. And then I get to meet all the people so I can decide if it's going to be, because the pups are so different. They've got their own little personalities and some are very active, some are a bit quieter. So matching them up with the right people as well is, is important. And it's been um, probably more fulfilling than as a person than I expected. Like it's been, it's, it's been amazing. So, and I'll, I'll look, I've ordered a shirt, I'm getting a car magnet, things that I never thought, I was just in it just to look after some dogs and have some friends around during the day. And all of a sudden, I'm, what can I do? How can I get involved? I want to, I want to, yeah, I am, safe Perth. So, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things. You just, you don't, you don't go into it expecting that it's going to be what it ends up being. And already in such a short time, it's a really enjoyable, loving part of my life. I, I love it. I, I've had a really good time, you know, and I can't, I can't wait to, well, rehoming these puppies. <laughs> It's been so much fun and meeting the people and um, they're already giving me updates. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see how they grow and fit into the families and you can just see, I can visualise it looking forward down the track of all these happy success stories.